Head 49 traffic, uh, Mooney 8, 7 of them will be taxiing uh, to 1 Ring 4 on Echo via Charlie Alpha, Orange 9. Welcome back. Here we are on a beautiful day here in Orange County and most of the uh, eastern, northeastern part of the country today. And we're going to go some, somewhere totally different today. Uh, going to Wings. Um, it is just, let me see, it is just north of Philadelphia International Airport. Um, so we're going to get some flight following there as well. Um, and it should be about a 45-minute flight, and uh, I'll get up in the air shortly. My friend down there, Russ, for some lunch, and have some fun today. It's a beautiful day today to fly. It might be a little bumpy. We're we'll be going up to 55, uh, 4,500. Um, the winds were actually. Um, much more headwinds, a little higher, and actually the weather just dropped a little bit. So it's got about two, three mile an hour, not headwind, nothing major, so mostly calm. So maybe we'll go up to um, uh, 50, 7,500, we'll see. It's about a, about a 90 nautical mile flight. One train traffic, Diamond 658, Golf Fox is taking oh, runway be, 4 and will be departing, be easy. Runway, or departing from the pattern, Orange County. Then again, nothing is easy in aviation, something could happen. But uh, we'll keep an eye out on our instrument panel, so on and so forth. So folks, we're going to do the handy dandy checklist, make sure we're all okay. Do a checklist every time, no matter what, no matter how rush you are in, do the checklist. Get okay, right back with you guys. Okay, checklist is complete. We'll stow that over here. We got flaps 15, we got trim set for takeoff. We're gonna put our strobes on, landing light is still on from for taxiing, and then we're good to go. Fuel pump will come up shortly. Orange doors, County diving one doors locked. Here at eight miles to the west, inbound for the 45 to the downwind, runway four in Orange County. Flaps 15. Eight six to the west, inbound for lost downwind, zero four. Orange County. So we're gonna go direct to Mike. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go direct to. Let me let me switch this around here. First, here we go. Lima Oscar Mike. That's where we're going to. That's the airport identifier. Turn traffic 658, Wings Cafe, Park, Philadelphia, PA, USA. We're going right there. And let's see what this says here. Looking good. Okay, let's do a quick system test here. Waiting for some traffic here to get off here. Looking good. Everything's in the green, oil pressure, System oil temperature. Passed. Always great to hear that. And cylinder temperature's in the green, we're all good there. We got plenty of fuel. We got about four hours-ish of fuel uh, on board. And we're good to go here, good, good, good. Okay, fuel pump's coming on. Fuel pump on, strobes on, land lights on. Advisory. Flat set. Altimeter. Three, zero, T, zero. For runway, listen for traffic. Oh, it just went, that's weird, it went up a little bit. Pattern. So we're all set, trim is set, and a uh, mixture is full ridge possible Our forward. Traffic, Skyhawk is two and a half miles east of the field, descending out of 1,700, and we'll be making straight in for runway 26, Orange County. And Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney 8, Senate Member taking the active 4 for departure, Orange County. Okay, we're all set. Thank you. 
4,900 feet remaining. County Diamond 1, Papa Sierra, 4 miles out for the down, 45 to the downwind, rowing 4, Orange County. Make sure we're lined up. We'll do the DG here. Double check that. Make sure that's all good. Okay, let's roll. All set. Full power. 65. Perfect. Right off the ground. Gears coming up. Nice and easy at that Johnson's bar. All right, five over flaps coming up. Trim down a little bit. County diamond one Papa Sierra entering the downwind rowing four Orange County. Orange County traffic, uh, Moody eight seven November left crosswind for four. I got the traffic in sight and the midfield down, left down went for four. We'll maintain visual separation, Orange County. All right, thousand over, pull that power back. to the U.S. climbing through 2000, Orange County. Got to get up there, final zero, four, four, five, one, two. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good. Orange County, diamond to one, pop in here, turning left base, showing four, Orange County. Get on course. Course heading today is 223. And let's nail that. Romeo turning space for runway one zero for All right, let's get uh, some flight falling. One pop is here turning by number only four orange can. Uh, Stuart if possible. Five two six Echo Romeo, uh, no problem. We can proceed direct four for the RNF two seven approach. All right, direct four for six Echo Romeo. Thank you. Direct approach Diamond four one nine or two Charlie with you four thousand five hundred. Diamond four one nine or two Charlie, New York approach. Do that number three zero two two. Three zero two two. Good night, Charlie. New York, good morning, uh, Mooney, November six eight eight seven November request. Twenty six eighty seven November New York Express Cod. Just a part of Orange Climate County it's climbing through two thousand seven hundred for five thousand five hundred. Requesting flight following to Wings Airport. Larry, Oscar, Mike. Three Lima, not Larry, but All right, so November send my first squad code. November squawk 4212 ident. 4212 in a box and There goes a flash on her screen. Six eight eight seven November you're in contact two miles southwest of Orange County to three thousand two hundred. And straight out to my three zero two two. Three zero two two, eight November, thank you. Okay, there you go with that. Beautiful day. Get all that stuff taken care of. We're on New York approach. I'm sorry. Uh, New York Flight following. 
And we're, we're going go, go to go through some busy airspace. So we're going to pay a little bit of attention three, here. Three, we're going to go through, but we're going to be by Philadelphia and also by New York. So we have a couple things uh, to pay attention to. We'll definitely use flight following, um, especially going this far and going through those airspaces. Which technically I didn't have to make one uh, radio transaction because it's all um, VFR. I'm not going to any, through anybody's airspace per se, uh, but it's very good to get flight following. It's available for us. Uh, utilize it if you can. And some emails that I do get, um, sometimes they feel uncomfortable talking to ATC. Uh, don't feel uncomfortable talking to ATC because they're there to help you. And most of those uh, guys and gals are pilots themselves. Um, so utilize them as much as you can. And it's also good for training. So ATC, I give them, those guys and gals a lot of credit uh, for what they do every day. Worrying about the uh, commercial airlines, obviously. And then obviously worrying about the little folks like us. So climbing through 4,000, so we're going to 5,500. Nice climb out. Everything's in the green. Here's approach number nine to Charlie. Uh, can we request the descent through Stewart Class Delta, uh, direct Orange County? Five two six echo Romeo three miles from four maintain the far clear nine up to seven approach at Stewart. And, uh, and we are going uh, southwest, uh, so it is odds plus five hundred. So we're going odds five thousand plus five hundred with your VFR. That's what we're doing today. But looking yeah, good, looking low, good. Forward to Charlie Fox five thousand with the winds and uh, Notum Sullivan. We have the airport site. So we get a lot of commercial traffic through here. They hit off the Huguenot um, VOR to go into the city. So I'm surprised I don't see a, a lot of uh, airplanes right now. November contact near Birch 127.6. 27.6 now for 8th November. Thank you. Good day. Have a good one. 15 5 good day. Desert to Bravo. 7-5, Victor Bravo, continue left to 170. The 80s is Alpha. You're on Vectors for an ILS 6 approach. You're going to be circling runway 1. 170 heading, uh, we have Alpha, ILS 6, circle 1, Victor Bravo. And the York, good morning, Mooney 8, 7 November is with you, 5,300 for 5,500. 6887 November, thanks, Alpha. Newark is uh, 3020. Proceed on course. 3020, Alpha, November, proceed on course, 8th November, thank you. Okay, so. Hey, good morning, New York Approach, Presidential 7. We will 7, for 6, slowly put the trim in. Presidential 7, altimeter 3020, thanks for Alpha. After Stillwater, direct wings, playing the ILS 6, or circling runway 1. Okay, 3020, after Stillwater. A little bit of haze, so we'll get the landing light on for a little bit longer. The, uh, 6 for a circle to 1. I recommend um, if, you, if any of you guys have uh, the halogen bulbs to go with the LED. 31396, contact approach on 132. Um, they're pretty much cheap now. I mean, they are still a lot of money because the halogen bulb is probably, bulb is probably 100 bucks, and these are four or 500. But they do last a long time, and they don't use that much electricity at all. Or amps, I should say. <laughs> Not electricity. Same thing. Seven five Victor Bravo heading one five zero descend two thousand. One five zero down to two thousand. Victor Bravo. Victor Bravo level at two speeds one seventy. All right, let's pull that prop back a little bit. Level two one seventy MSP. Victor Bravo. One six Sierra Mike, you're over Vings cross the right one there, and we're gonna to clear the ILS six. You're circling runway one. Fixture back a little bit. Seven zero not please still five DME. One six Sierra Mike Wilco. Presidential seven descend and maintain four thousand. Descend and maintain four thousand. Presidential seven. Sometimes with these noise cancellation headsets, you wear glasses, it doesn't make a really good seal, so it sounds so loud. Six 
Sierra Mike Towers, one one. So 5,500, we're staying right there. A little more trim there. Nose down a little bit. And we should be good right there. We have Tita Bros information. Let's get off course. We're off a couple degrees. Thank you, altimeter 3020. After Stillwater, go direct to Ving. And plan the ILS 6 approach. We'll be circling runway 1. Perfect, right there. After Stillwater, direct Zing, uh, planning the ILS runway 6, circling 01, air sprint 816. And of course, the wing leveling system wants to have always pulled it array. Trying to really wait for this Garmin autopilot to come out for us um, at a reasonable price, actually. I would like to get that at some point in this plane's future. I'm not going to get rid of the plane because it's in uh, perfect condition and uh, low time on everything. Global 5 Victor Bravo left zero And even the prop, I don't have to get inspected one. because it's left got a new prop on it uh, uh, from the last uh, owner. So I don't have to get inspected every hour. That's an AD for the Moonies uh, with that particular prop, uh, prop. But so everything is like brand new in this plane. So and it's stuff I look at out there. Um, that has all this stuff, and to upgrade to a, maybe a 201, Mr. Bravo, you're eight from Dandy Cross it's just way too expensive, and the panel still is not that great. And there are, you know, people are asking, you know, 90,000 plus, and the panel has to be updated, but it has an autopilot, so for me it's not worth it. I'd rather throw, you know, $10,000 in this, with the low time and how comfortable it is to fly this airplane. Instead of buying something else. They get a check. The compass. Put the uh, heading coordinator periodically. We're all set there. Let's go down a little bit. Maple 7738 heading 190. Connect approach 12855. Five Victor Bravo Towers one one nine five. Have a good day. Port of Tower Victor Bravo. It's pretty calm up here. Straight line. Let me record the screen for you. Let's try that again. Hey guys, sorry again, but it did not record because I already had another video that was recorded on the iPad. And I do not have enough memory because of all the aviation stuff I have on the iPad. So sorry again. We'll try next time record this for now. So we're on course. Beautiful out here, New York City, New York City. And I see Philadelphia. Presidential 7, descend and maintain 3,000. That's pretty cool, Center right? Maintain 3,000, Presidential 7. No service up here. What? But I can take some pictures. Gotta take pictures, folks. I know it's the same ones over and over again, but... We're looking to do the instrumenter the visual over at uh, Morristown. This never gets old, right? Visual back to 5 0 and average back to 5 3 Beautiful right, day. After Stillwater, go to Rick Hosby, plan the left face on After Stillwater, see the waypoint, please? Oh, uh, Hosby, it's the final for the yard now. After Stillwater, Hosby, it's back to 5 3 Beautiful day. So we're doing 131 knots with about a five, five mile an hour headwind. Power is not that high, probably 70%-ish of power. So again, a good airplane for um, liability speed. You can go fast, you don't have to go fast. Um, it has nice wings on it. Um, and let's go down a little bit here. Trying to get down to 55, going through this busy airspace here. Um, and you're getting very economical fuel. Now, it does get a little tight in the cockpit area with four people, but I'm not worried about the back passengers. If they want to come along, they can just kind of squeeze in compared to like maybe an Arrow or a Comanche, a little more room in the air, air, aircraft. Uh, but that's where Mooney gets her sleekness from the tail, the, how they made the airplane, um, and the sleekness of it. So you're going to lose a little space. But for me, and for a passenger, even for four people, it's not bad. I could bring 700 pounds worth of passengers, about. 
Uh, that's really good for 180, 180 horsepower motor. And, um, you know, get eight and a half miles, uh, gallons, gallons per hour. Send to maintain 3,000. Air so, it's really good. If anybody has any questions, obviously you can email me, pilotfun101 at gmail.com. I do get emails, and I get right back to everybody that I possibly can with the right information. I say get back to everybody with the possible right information. Residential 7, to send 2,000, hold 190 knots or greater for now. I'll get you started shortly. Okay, down to 2,000, 190 knots or greater for now, Presidential 7. Let's take some video out here, folks. So we're nice, straight and level here. Um, no winds calm. I'll show you how nice it is out today. You won't be able to see the, the city because it is kind of foggy out there a little bit, some haze, so you won't be able to see the city, which is right down that area. Um, but there's the day today, folks, and it's just beautiful out. The sun's not killing me in the cockpit here, because there is some cloud layer, minor, very little um, layers here and there. So it's a beautiful day, and here's my instrument panel. You guys can see it from that camera, but here's a little close-up, and here's the L3 transponder. That, uh, that's, that's coming due, folks. Yeah. Fortunately, um, there's the four flight and the six pack. But it is coming due, folks. I hate to say it. Um, it's the transponders. Uh, I know every. A lot, I know a lot of um, pilots. Good morning, New York Baron One Five Golf Kilo. A lot of pilots who were kind of putting that off. Um, it's gonna happen, unfortunately, and. Uh, the avionics shops that I talk to are getting really booked up. I mean, it's obviously certain airspaces you, you, you can't go into without that ADSB. Well, the seven turn left airway zero, intercept the runway six localizer. Some people don't fly in those airspaces, I get all that, but it's also good just to have. And one five golf kill in New York, how can I help you? Um, okay, we just departed. Safety and, and even retail. To when you retail your airplane in the future, to, uh, people are going to want that. And that's going to be a good selling point as you have the ADS speed in and out. This is all set with this transponder that I have here. It's all done in and out. I get weather, traffic, VTARs. Uh, 500 declared ILS 6, you're circling runway 1, hold 1 terrain. Okay. Cross so this transponder does everything for me, which works with the 480, Garmin 480, and also works with the Fortflight app. And I, and I really can't complain. And split screen. You can put traffic on one side, you can put the weather on the other side, you can put the terrain, you have everyone Everyone want to do it, you can do it. So 65 nautical miles away from our destination. 16 to send and maintain 2,000, then speed 190. Descend and maintain 2,000, speed 190, air sprint 816. Air sprint 5 I'm trying to slow down a little bit because I don't want to get there too fast. I'm trying to enjoy this day. Five, we'll join left base, air sprint 503. But yeah, I'm thinking about uh, definitely getting the um, autopilot. Fair 15 Golf Kilo, approach over on 120. So we'll see what happens. I'm putting money away every month to, to pay for it. Um, and uh, right now it's time to decide what I want to do. Have a good one. Hey, tower, tower. As you can see, New York is really busy, like always. And I, I actually, as some people did email me on it, the the, uh, the buzzer that goes off when the landing gear is up. And you pull the power back and the RPM, or manifold pressure, and it goes, you know, it goes crazy at 2,000 RPMs, which is way too high, set too high. Um, at 2,000 RPMs, I'm still going pretty fast, believe it or not. Uh, I'm sorry, not RPMs, manifold pressure. So I did, uh, we did adjust that, so now it goes off at about 16, 15, 16, which is perfect. I don't have to hear that thing go off for five minutes as I'm descending uh, to land. It's a pain, so that was pretty high, set pretty high. But as long as you do, I have a little cheat sheet here. 
Air Sprint 816, West 080. Zero zero. Problems in your landing Local checklist, jump. You know, once you know your airplane, you know, all you got to do is acronyms. And remember the acronyms. You don't got to really pay attention to this, but know your acronyms. And glance over and have this, just say so you have it. Uh, print it out. I just taped the, sh the crap out of it, so it's almost like it's laminated, but it's not. And uh, now have that. Gumps is very important for uh, these kind of airplanes, complex airplanes. So it's it's awesome to see. You know, you know summer's here when you see all the boats out in the slips and the lakes and stuff through New York and New Jersey here. But, for, but where I'm going to Wings Airport, in the, in the airspace that is in, uh, you have to have a transponder. You have to have ADS-B in and out. Dandy at 1,500, so, cleared ILS 6, circling runway 1. That's Air the stuff that you're going to lose out on. And you might not think you go to those airports because you can sneak under the, uh, um, the altitudes. Uh, but when you see that line, the lines, the blue magenta lines, everything else, you really should have that. Tower on 119 or 5, have a good one. Tower 19-5, air sprint 816. And if, you, if, you're on, if you're trying to go through someone's airspace, you know, you're, you sometimes I request to go through someone's airspace that are going around it to go to Orange County, wherever I'm going, I request to go through, Alpha, thanks, Alpha. through their 30, tower, 30, request 30. to go through their airspace. You have to have uh, ADS-B. Alpha, let me know when you're on station. So please. those are all the things that you might not think we do, but we do. And not to have that luxury would kind of stink. Oh, no, that's fine. You're going over. I didn't really, didn't, I thought you were working here. You're headed over towards Allentown. That's fine. Proceed on course, and uh, we'll get you over to Allentown approach here shortly. I'll be going to Allentown shortly as well. But there's all the boats out there, nice lakes, Jersey. Brickyard 3526, thanks, altimeter 3020. Really nice Street out there, Ray. Right? Right? The Love this floor, time right? of year. Fly. It's beautiful. It never gets old. Every day is a uh, learning experience. So other things I like to talk to is, you know, again, I, I get the emails, which really is nice to see. Actually, it makes this worth doing. Um, is that uh, you know people kind of go through some bumps and some out, you know, some uh, turbulent air. That's all normal. Um, it's just all normal, and, you, and when you do a, a, a briefer for weather where you're going somewhere, if you do one, you should, depending how far you go. If you're local, we don't got to do that, but, or look at your iPad, look at the weather, you might see some headwinds that are pretty strong, some tailwinds that are pretty strong. You're going to get some turbulent air, you get below some clouds, you might get some turbulent air, but all you got to do is, is make sure to look at the POH for your turbulent airspeed, heavy turbulent airspeed. And then, light turbulence, just stay in the green arc here and, and you'll be fine. You're going to bounce around a little bit, um, but your plane's not going to fall apart because you're going through some light turbulence. Now, some moderate turbulence uh, to heavy-ish, um, you might get that out of nowhere. You might do, you know, fly, fly, fly through a jet wash or whatever you might. You need to know what your speed is for that turbulence. It's different than uh, light turbulence. It's on your POH pilot Air operating handbook. Continue to now to we're flying nice, straight, and level. I don't have to put any aileron inputs in. I mean, we're right the ball center. We're doing good. We're up just above 5,500, which is fine. We're at, we're at 222 heading. Doing great. So they're going to fly close to my hometown, Phillipsburg, over here, New Jersey. I'm going to fly over to that. And yeah, Brickyard 3526 looks like they just threw Juliet up with And the, the airspace I'm in right now, I'm not in the blue magenta red. line, but I'm in the transponder line. You're going to have to have, again, your ADSB. So I know some pilots say it stinks and it's too much, but unfortunately, we got to. Um, do what you have to do to keep flying, folks. But it's also really good to see traffic and what's going on around you and your surroundings. I understand you need to look outside and pay attention. Um, I get that, but it's also nice to have 
a guy who's pretty far out. I know where he's at before I even see him. Um, and sometimes when you're, if you don't have that, and you have airplanes flying almost the same altitude and right towards you, you've you're got to think about, your, sure, you're, you're probably you coming in on each other at 200 plus miles per hour, and when you see somebody last minute, it could be hard to deviate from that heading and miss the person. Does that happen a lot? It doesn't. Um, but stuff can happen. Or get really close to somebody in the last minute and break off. But with the with knowing where the planes are and GA planes also, it's great to kind of know. Okay, five miles out at my altitude, there's an aircraft. Whether it's crossing my pass, whether it's heading towards me, whether it's off a few degrees, I know it's coming. I'm going to look for it more heavily and then make my adjustments um, from that point. And it tells you they're 200 feet below you, 200 feet ahead of you, 20,000 feet above you, um, which you could adjust how far you want to see traffic. I just put everything on here. Um, but again, I understand some of you are not happy about that, the ADSB issue, but it's good also to have. So where are we going here? We are Hackestown, flying over Hackestown, New Jersey. 47 miles to go, 20 minute ETA. So we're looking really good. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch tanks. So lap belt comes off, uh, shoulder harness comes off, fuel pump comes on, and I'm gonna turn over to left tank. Everything looks good. 170 Tango Alpha, start looking for two o'clock DU5, right to left to Mooney, he's also 5-5. Five five. And that's him. You, you can see him. He's right here. 7 November, left side traffic, 930 and 10, um, 10 o'clock and about four and a half miles westbound, 55 and Aztec. 8 November, looking for the traffic. Don't see him, but he's right here. He's gone right over my pass. He's at my same altitude. And the same thing on the 480. The, uh, the four plate's going to start yelling at me. There's traffic. see him yet. That's fine, you can start the descent now. Thanks, 8-7 November, the Aztec off the left wing's 9-32 and a half, he's out of 5-5, descending does have you in sight. 8 November, we have you in sight, thank you, still looking. New York, good morning, Flexia 583, leveling 6000, Juliet. Medevac 265, Charlie Mike, thank you, altimeter 3020, new ADIS is Bravo. Go oh, ahead, Vings, when you're able, plan an ILS 6 approach, you'll be circling runway 1. There he is, right there. Hey, Mooney, 8th of November, traffic is safe, we'll maintain visual separation. 8th of November, thank you, sir. Flex Jeff 583, altimeter. So he's right behind me. Uh, I would say about a mile. Are we looking for the instrument? He's right there. Oh, you can see him. Approach for uh, 5, Flex Jeff 583. Flexia 583, descend 4,000. When you're able, direct Cosby, plan a left base entry. All right, he's good. 4,000, direct Cosby, Flexia 583. Right back, five, Charlie Mike. But like, for that 5, scenario, 000. if I was not on flight following, um, I gotta, you know, again, if he didn't descend or whatever. 7 November, you can contact approach now on 12855. Have a good day. 28.55 now for each number. Thank you, good day. Air China 819 or heavy, descend and maintain. Limo uh, 2684 for 5.5. Limo 268, roger, altimeter 2020. 2002268, limo. In New York, good morning, Mooney 8, Sun of Ember is with you at 5.5. 87 November, altimeter 3020. 3020, 8, Sun of Ember. So, if he wasn't on flight following or with ATC, and I wasn't on flight following for, AT Zero Tango Alpha, for ATC, that can happen really quickly. Um, and off to my blind side, and even if I was sweeping, you know, it takes an aircraft literally seconds to catch up to you how fast you're going. So, again, it's good to have that. If you're just flying even locally to have that ability to look at traffic so you can maneuver accordingly. Uh, and that's 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 why I think it's a, a, a good idea 
to have that. And there's a lot of options out there. You don't, have to, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Limo 2685 Northwest Peterboro. Oh, that's if I have service. I got to text my buddy over there. Oh, and out to the question. See if you get it. Nope. 4.5 to 6.5. I'm going to go down to 3.5 shortly. Limo 268, clear through to Bravo 5500 for now. Clear through Bravo 5.5, Limo 268. Spirit Wing 712 on. Uh, just hit the switch for 712, 8000 with India. Spirit Wing uh, 712, the red gritty, descend 5000, I'll list 4 right. Descend 5000, plan 4 right, Spirit 712. Approach coming to your 4964, 8500, uh, descending via Fibble Tree Arrival. Pick up 3526, 5 from doing left 070, 2000, service cleared, I'll list 4 right approach. I could just descend if I wanted to, but it's so busy, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let him tell me my discretion. Because some controllers don't care, some do, so it's better off when you're in this busy airspace. Let them know what you're doing. That's what they do. And New York Mooney 8 7 requesting 3.5. 28 7 November, Roger, approve this request. Okay, who's the request at 2.5? Ethan Member. Okay, let's head down. Let's pull the power back a little bit. We're going to gain some speed here. Might be a little choppy down there. Hey guys, so we lost a wing camera. Uh, the battery died prematurely. So we'll have no outside view uh, of the ground or the landing at the airport from here on in. 34 nautical miles away, comes up quick in this airplane. So, like to. Wing 712, you direct ready? Descent. Look at the traffic out here, folks. Uh, on the, we'll go direct ready. On the <laughs> iPad here. That's, <laughs> that's what you have to kind of navigate through with, while they're pretty high up. But. There's a lot of traffic coming in and out everywhere. But we're flying over I-78. 7 November traffic's 11 o'clock and uh, 4 miles, 3,400 indicated. It's uh, maneuvering. 8 November, thank you. Look at the traffic. And he's right here on my transponders, uh, on my transponder and in my iPad here. I see him. He's below us, so we'll keep an eye out. Probably going into Sky Acres. I'm sure Sky Acres will be packed today. I'm sorry, Sky Manor. Sky Manor in Hunterdon County, New Jersey. Awesome airport. Uh, there's a lot of traffic by going there today. Okay, let's put in a little bit of mixture. Just going down 500 feet per minute, just standard descent. Approach break at 3526, switch into tower. Okay, 3526 towers, 183, take care, thank you. 183, bye. 3526. Number 268, heading 360 for now, keeping the airspace. And exactly, we're just about, there's Sky Manor right there, folks, and that's, we're just, maybe if I go like this, I can tell you exactly, we're about one, two nautical miles away from Sky Acres, Sky Manor, I'm sorry, and that's where those aircraft are going today. And we'll probably stop by there later on the way back, because I want to have the questions, uh, He's a Garmin dealer on the, Garmin, Garmin dealer on the field. I'd like to answer, have questions for him. Uh, heading 190, uh, maintain 6,000 feet. Heading 190, descend and maintain 5,000. Descend and maintain 5,000, heading 190. 6887 November, contact Philadelphia, approach on 123.8, traffic's no factor. Okay, 123.8 for 8th of November. AC 4037, 180 knots are granted up to one time, it's on H and Tree. 180 knots are greater. Philadelphia, good morning. Mooney, 8, 7 November is with you at 4.5, descending to 3.5. Mooney, 6, 8, 8, 7 November for the approach. Set of that is 3019er. 3019er now, 3 November. Not bad. Pretty easy. Uh, 11 nautical miles away. We'll keep our descent in. Pull the power so back. Set a four seven. Four we're cruising four seven along seven here at 145 knots. And and I always try to pull this power back, but it just doesn't want to slow down. Four 
Put some Add fuel in there. Approach Skyline 279, Juliet 2, check in. Skyline so I'm going to save this on the forward flight app. I'm sorry, on the, the iPad. But I won't be able to do it on the way back, unfortunately, because I won't have enough memory on this stupid thing, so. Doing pretty good, folks. Standard descent. Power step back. And let's see if he, nope, no service still, so. Two one zero. Look how accurate that is. GPS two one zero. And uh, put the heading coordinator on two one zero. Approach two one zero. I maintain four thousand. Direct contact. Set up altimeter is three zero one nine. Four thousand. Three zero one nine or five six zero. We're looking good, folks. Looking good. Beautiful day. I'm going to go to 2-5, I'm going to ask him. And the Moody 8th of November is requesting 2.5 now. Moody 8th of November, be as far as your discretion. My discretion, 8th of November, thank you. Very little wins. There's still discretion. Delphia. 4-4, four, four, thank you. Right out there. It's, it's hazy down there, so I really can't even show you. Number eight, six kilo, turn up getting two five zero. We're not going to fly past it because it's, it's just uh, Number north four, four, eight, west. Traffic, Twelve o'clock. Winds is like northwest of uh, Philly. Five thousand. So we'll be type is unknown. Not see right, that. Four, four, eight. Well, we'll level out here then. Number four. Uh, number four four eight. Actually, you know, I'd probably better just to descend. One eighteen. Uh, four flight gives you. Okay. One eighteen nine two five. First time here, so let's drill in on that. 925, and we'll monitor that and listen to Philly still. Um, click off that. Again, it gives you again it gives you all the frequencies too. So let's listen to that. We'll monitor that frequency. Field automatic weather observation. One four zero six Zulu weather wind zero eight zero at five visibility one zero eight zero at Below. five. So zero eight zero at five. So we'll use zero six. So we'll go in, let's make sure our, we're at, 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 not in anybody's no, four, four, eight, airspace. Now right off your 10 o'clock and less than a mile northeast down at 5,300. No procedure, right traffic four, four, eight, pattern, we're doing navigation. winds favor 06, 45, add to route, close it, and then there you go, it adds it to your route. So you can just follow that line in and you'll be all set if you're not familiar with the airport and the cool part is you could go to details and you can go to 3D. So you can see if there's any obstructions that's going on, but there's the airport, folks. That's the airport. We're using six. I don't see anything that's going to be a hazard on here, but you obviously you check no tans and check everything else. Um, but that has that as well. Now let's go on course here for the 45. Make sure my friend here knows I am close. So we approach Tiger 6513 Zulu. Tiger 6513 Zulu, go ahead. 13 Zulu is just off northeast. And then let's look at the field the river, elevation. 1,500 feet. 302. Uh, he would like and to he had 1,000, so uh, uh, he had 1,000 to that. So 1,300 traffic to, uh, pattern uh, altitude Petersburg. to get down to wings here. Kilo pop a tiny uh, VFR. A couple hundred feet above sea level. Number six five one three zero is close. That's what we're going to do. Slow down a little bit more. Zero two three two one three zero. Little bumps here and there. Number six five one three zero. What altitude do you maintain? 
We'd like to do it at 4,500. 35, 3500, below that, we're set there. Maintain VFR, okay. Bravo. Okay, cleared into the Bravo at 4500. Uh, direct uh, Smyrna, 13 Zulu. 13 Zulu, can't give you direct Smyrna just yet. Fighting of 190 next control, I'll get you on course. Okay, initial course 190, 13 Zulu. Number 306 South Charlie, go ahead. First, number 231, checking in, descending out of 6,000. I'm sorry, uh, off of uh, Williams going to Beverly again, uh, giving the call one more time. What airport is that? That is, um, Doylestown. Number 306 here, Charlie, you said? Eleven minute, eleven miles Number out, three, descent. Six, up, Charlie, thank you. You said you're an SR-22 going to Beverly. What was the identifier for that again? Number 306, South Charlie, squawk 0217. 0217. Approach limit 231, checking in, descending out of 5,900. Remember, 206 Delta Charlie, right Radar contact, 7 northeast to Wingsfield, maintain VFR out of 3,500. Number 088, appears to be one aircraft in the pattern of wings, use caution, they're at 1,500 feet just north of the field, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, frequency change proof. 5508, frequency change proof, thanks for the help. Just there at Wings Field, they're about five months left of the field, and there's one in the pattern of 1500. Radar service terminated, score pretty far from change proof. Was that for 8th of November you were stepped on? Yep, 8th of November, uh, Cherokee 5 to the northwest of Wings, one in the pattern at 14 west of the field. Radar services are terminated, score pretty far from change proof. Okay, squawk of VFR, approved and approved. Thank you, appreciate the help. November 1, Tree Zulu, kind of fill you All right, we're done there. One one nine or point seven five one three zero. Number six South Charlie traffic twelve o'clock the mile west on Cherokee at four. And there was another VFR calling in. Who was that? Yeah, Arrow two eight one one Mike. We just departed northeast Philly. Request flight uh, following uh, to Reading. Arrow two eight one one Mike. I'm sorry, you kind of cut off in the end. So you going to Reading? Affirmative. Two eight one one Mike. Seven miles out. Plane light coming on. Somerset, top cove final, two six, Somerset. Wing, traffic sky accident. Turkey two nine, three two X right down one runway uh, one one. Robinsville. Camden County traffic, uh, Cherokee, uh, the I got winds right in front of me. Ten miles to the south. And winds traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November is uh, five miles out uh, to the northeast inbound for six on a 45. Any, who's else in the pattern at winds? 550 at 8 is off the approach end of six. I'm going to enter an upwind for six. Keep an eye out for you. Okay, I'll be looking for you, sir. We're about now... Uh, about a four mile 45 now for the midfield, left downwind for six. Yeah, you'll be way ahead of us, thanks. Mooney at wings, do you have the uh, aircraft in sight? I'm on upwind for six now. Mooney is looking for you, I am just... I'm gonna start my crosswind until we have each other. I am beamed at two four numbers now, heading on to midfield, uh, 1,200. Okay. We have you in sight. Okay, I see you. We'll maintain visual separation. Thank you. Wings traffic, 05508, cross wind for six. Wings traffic, Moody's midfield left downwind for six wings. Thank 
County traffic, uh, Cherokee is uh, three alarm bravo. All right, gear, gas is on, undercarriage, locked, flaps coming in. Mountain traffic, flight seven, turning left base, uh, number two. Gas, undercarriage, uh, mixture, prop, speed. Watch all that, there's beautiful Philadelphia to our left here. Five, five, zero, eight, turning downwind, zero, six, wings. Hey, winds traffic, Mooney is left base now for six wings. So gas, undercarriage, mixture, flaps, for a bunch of speed, seatbelts are on. I don't know what's just going on with that. That's annoying. And wings traffic, uh, Mooney is turning final now for six full stop, wings. Tampa County traffic, Turkey, uh, three miles south, zero five. Mama traffic, white so turn final and look for mama traffic. Gas, undercarriage. Well, the traffic arch five zero. It's sure. It's all on. We're good. Left down with one one Robinsville. And wings traffic moving short final six full stop. Wings. Five five zero eight turning base zero six wings. Yeah, wings welcome back here. So we'll for uh, both landing traffic at wings. I'm going to the back taxi real quick to that first turn off. Traffic, 12 o'clock, high, less than one mile, descending. And with the traffic really clear, six. Folks, we made it. That was pretty fun. Get to Wings. I got some uh, ATC. A lot of time with them. Um, or flight, we'll turn that off. The recording. Guys, I'll see you next time on the way back to Orange County or possibly um, by Manor. It all depends what I want to do. So, until next time, fly safe, be safe. See ya. Wings Unicom, 05508.